So we'll follow it to its juncture with Mass Ave, which isn't terribly far ahead. Up, oh, Lance Armstrong action heroes. Yuppie culture is fascinating. Okay, girls. I think long ago there were semi criminal townies here. How times change. <laughs> Little buggers. Yeah, that's enough to make you miss <laughs> Whitey Balger. <laughs> Yeah, this is all these trees grew up since I last walked by them. It's like running into kids that you knew when they were toddlers. <laughs> I worked at the Round Rounder Records warehouse in like 1983 or four. And this is how I'd walk to work every day. Mayor Kurt Atone wants to hear that phone ringing if you should see a light go out. So here we are at the home stretch of our eventual meeting with Mass Ave. I can practically smell it. This is killer that the trees all grew up. It makes everything really shaded. It was rough back in 85 or whatever. Yeah, there's some new construction of some kind. Oh yeah, I remember this thing. <laughs> this has been here forever. Yeah, none of this was shaded. It was very stark and exposed. It's completely beautiful the way it's become. Yes, this was the narrower corridor, narrow corridor where the mockingbird would lie in wait. This park was presented to the cities of Somerville and Cambridge, Cambridge and Somerville, for the enjoyment of their citizens by the Mass Bay Transit Authority back in the days of good old Governor Dukakis. They don't make them like that anymore. He's getting pretty old. And there's the North Cambridge bus yard. My typical work morning would be strolling past this whole thing and Rounder's warehouse was just across the street up here. Simple little pleasant pocket park over here. The 
T essentially used this whole railroad right away to dig under. It's beneath here some number of feet. Oh yeah, look at that. Funny little wheel thing. <laughs> Danger high voltage. I wonder what the wheel's from. It's like it might have been from the train. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a hat. More wheels. Trolley Square Park. A perfect place for this stretch to conclude. This is the old Rounder Records building. <coughs> One Camp Street. This is Camp Street. And I used to walk down this street every day. This thing didn't exist, the housing. The Rounder still exists probably as some kind of licensed compact disc arrangement. It was a very innovative and interesting label in its day. They had flex time in a way. It could kind of show up anytime between 8 and 10 and leave anytime between four and six and as long as you got useful stuff done in that interim they would give you a check for the agreed per hour amount. It even had a weird little union that was kind of a charade of a union but it was a union nonetheless. Some of these places are still as ramshackle and crappy as they were when I used to walk by them every day in 1985 or whatever. This one's cool though. Look at all the strange graffiti and art. And there's the trolley park of the Central Massachusetts Rail Line Trail. This digression is now concluded. And we'll rejoin the main thing in our excursion towards the Yalewife Tea Station. One last look at the old site of Union Army era Civil War Camp Cameron. The line of little rent-a-bikes a trend that's springing up in hipster cities across America. And then the Traverse of Mass Ave. Arlington would be that way. Harvard Square and all its horror is down this way. And the Mass Central, Central Mass Rail Line continues here. <laughs>